Welcome. This legacy instructional series video will explain vectors and how they can be used to understand motion in Star Citizen. Vectors are expressions of translation that have both direction and magnitude, which way something is going and by how much. What those terms mean directly depends upon the type of vector. A velocity vector represents a craft's current direction and speed of motion. Because of the physics realism feature of Star Citizen, velocity is never directly controlled by the pilot or the ship's computer. In other words, pushing the throttle to 100% will never instantly result in the craft moving at full speed, like in other genres. As discussed in the translation lesson, the ship must make thrusts to accelerate the ship to the desired velocity. An acceleration vector represents the craft's current change in velocity, both in terms of magnitude and direction. This vector is often the result of a thrust action, but not always. Other forces can affect the ship's velocity like collisions and ejection of mass due to burning fuel, expending of ammo or losing pieces. Because of this, and because of the way the IFCS limits and controls acceleration differently than it does thrust, it's incorrect to use the two terms interchangeably, and these lessons will strive not to do so. Vectors can be described relative to a ship rather than the inertial reference plane. In this case, it is often useful to discuss vector components. For example, a ship translating forward and right at 200 meters per second will have a velocity vector 45 degrees off the spacecraft's nose with a magnitude of 200 meters per second. It can also be shown as having vector components Vx and Vy of approximate magnitude 141.5 meters per second each. These components become important when it comes time to understand the thrusts that would be necessary to change this velocity. For example, to bring the spaceship to a stop, the ship would need to thrust backwards and left equally, each for 141.5 meters per second of velocity change. To shift the velocity vector 90 degrees clockwise, or in other words, to make the ship go backwards and right, it does not need to change Vx and only needs to accelerate Vy. Only backwards thrust is required, enough to change the velocity of a total of 283 meters per second. You can also see here that visualizing vectors makes it easy to determine what acceleration is needed to achieve a new velocity vector. Simply draw a line from the head of the current vector to the head of the desired one, and the resulting line is your required acceleration vector direction. The length of it will depend on how much thrust or force you have at your disposal. Having less thrust will result in a shorter vector, which will require you to have additional time to achieve the new velocity. In future lessons, you will learn how different IFCS modes achieve target velocity and acceleration vectors differently, and how control inputs play into these movements. Having a fundamental understanding of the mechanics of spacecraft motion will allow you to better perform your desired missions in Star Citizen.